My name is Federico Capasso. I am Professor of Applied Physics at Harvard University in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences and I am the winner of the SPAE 2013 gold medal. The prestige of a prize is uh, a lot uh, based on the prior winners. And as I look at the list of priors, prior winners, is like a who's who in basically optics and uh, uh, photonics, which includes uh, people that had major contributions to science, major to technology both. Last but not least, Charlie Towns, the inventor of the actual laser that got it a couple of years ago. So to, uh, I think, I'm going to say, to the committee felt that I was in good company, you know, it makes me feel good. You know, and I would say, yeah, it's nice because it's, it has recognized basically my whole career in optics and photonics started from my early days at Bell Labs when I sort of was pioneering the concept of band structure engineering. By that I mean using artificial materials uh, uh, from uh, quantum wells, graded material, you basically name it. The idea that I could create uh, uh, tunable electronic and optical materials. That eventually uh, led to the big leap of the quantum cascade laser, which is really sort of the peak of band structure engineering. It's a revolutionary new laser that has now has sort of taken off like a rocket well beyond my expectation in terms of application science and technologies, you know, all kind of all over the actual world. And I was happy also that uh, the committee recognized the work I've been doing with my group at Harvard in the last uh, five, uh, probably almost ten years now, and time goes fast in the field of plasmonics. The latest work uh, uh, basically uh, relates to two areas. Uh, we are really uh, hot into this area of so-called flat optics or flat photonics, where I gave a plenary talk here. Basically, uh, it's all about creating optical materials that you can tailor and possibly tune so that you have a, an incoming light beam, a new light beam comes out. Now, uh, we know the lesson from electronics. Electronics is a planar technology. So my point, if these optical material will have to have a big impact in technology, they have to become flat. So I've called these flat metasurfaces, right? And so one of the most exciting things we have demonstrated where now there is a huge interest also in companies is so-called flat lens. This is a, a lens traditionally has to be curved, right? But we have found ways that if we make a flat surface and we put locally the so-called optical antennas, which are really nanometer scale structures, we can, uh, uh, from a plain uh, uh, light beam incident on the flat lens, we can create a spherical way and we can focus it. So the beauty of this lens, it has no spherical aberration, unlike uh, all uh, uh, conventional lenses. It has small footprint, and there is still a lot of work to do. It can have large numerical apertures, so I think the sky is the limit potentially with this uh, flat, uh, with this uh, flat uh, uh, technology. Right? It's just one example. We are exploring many angles of it, and uh, and sort of this, in fact, is a bit the byproduct of some of the work that was uh, or follow-up of the work that was recognized by the gold medal.